Uh, hello everyone. Um, this is a feed. So what I've got here, um, I finally got my ATS. That's arrived uh, from a company called Sea Breeze, uh, which is uh, they sell it as an ACU, which is algae culture unit. Uh, what I've got is a custom build. So this is the main body of it. And what I asked for was to have an extra emergency drain pipe here. Uh, in addition to the main one. So I've got two drain pipes coming out. The build quality is quite, it's very good. Um, what came with it was a lid. And the lid's got the grooves in there. I don't know if you can see it properly. It's got grooves in there. They fit quite nicely on top of the unit. So there you go. Fits quite snug in the unit there. Um, let me turn the lights on. Right, I've got two lids. So I've got two side panels. And these side panels fit in the groove section here. As you can see, which is built into the the ATS unit, and they just slide in like so. One on that side, slides in, and the second side panel slides in here as well. Now this is where I'm going to put the lights on, the LED lights. Uh, it's quite a snug fit, so a lip there. And the lid just goes on like that. Looks like a nice tight fit. Uh, got a little raised section here. Let's have a look at that. Well, hopefully that should keep the lights contained within the box itself. And that's what it looks like on the inside. So what came with the, the eight algae trough scrub as well is a pipe with a plastic sheet and that's not been roughened up so I'm going to have to do that myself, just get a hacksaw blade and do that. And if you notice, in the unit it's got a little holder there so that should just fit in like that and you've got your base fits in right there. Uh, and it's got a 90 degree elbow, uh, some PVC pipe, about five inches of it, a union that should go just in there, and this is a, a flexi pipe uh, tube connector that goes in there. And you just what you do is you just fix in your um, the flexi pipe, fix the tube into that. So I'm going to have to PVC glue. And PVC glue uh, this 90 degree elbow into the main um, unit. Glue the little five inch or so uh, PVC. Glue that bit into the union. So when I come to take it off, what I have to do is take that off and take it out for a cleaning. Take it out for a cleaning. That's it. So it looks quite like a nice build. Um, I've been assured it's been water tested, but I'm still going to water test it because this is going to go on top of my uh, my tank. So the last thing I want is um, 500 600 liters of water per hour um, dripping down over the tank. And on the back of the tank. Now for the lights, this usually comes with its own LED lights which will go on here but I've got my own LED lights that I've bought. Now these lights have been used quite successfully in the past. Um, I don't know if I can 
China, and they've got nine one watt LEDs. Uh, very strong in the blue and the range wavelength. Um, and they're gonna go, I think I'm gonna put two on there. So one there and one below, and that should give me good coverage. Um, I thought about putting three, but I think that might be an overkill. So I'm gonna place them pretty much evenly apart. Now, because this is a custom build, and I did ask not to have his LEDs, the Seabreeze LEDs that come with the Seabreeze um, uh, ATS, um, I'm gonna have to drill a hole into the acrylic side panel so that the cable that comes out here doesn't obstruct the snug fit I get here. So I'm gonna drill a hole here uh, and it's gonna be, so this just, just, on, just on the side of it there, uh, probably like a, I don't know, four mil, five mil hole. So that should just fit in snug in here, in the recess inwards. Um, and that should come out nicely outwards. So that will then go into the tank, into the um, ATS unit. Like that, okay at the moment if I leave it that's going to come up the top, if I leave the cable out there that's not going to give me a snug fit so I just put it in, I just drill a hole just drill a hole and that should then slide through right to the bottom um, and that's it really um, so I've got some work to do um, to get this functioning, but it should be up and running today. So my tank has been cycling for about five months. Um, and that's it really. Uh, what I'm gonna do though, I'm also gonna put a little, I'm gonna fix a little lid uh, holder here so I can grip the lid up from here. Um, and easily, uh, so I might use one of these. I've got some acrylic uh, cutoffs here, some rod cutoffs here. So I might stick something like that on there, and that should give me capacity to just lift it up if I want to take it off, um, and also for the side panels as well. I might just cut this into in half uh, and stick one on, stick one on the side panel like that. That way, I can just lift up. I can just lift up the side panel then easily. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. It should take me less than half an hour to do that. And I'll show you a video once it's finished. Thanks guys.